or iTunes or any other places. You take traditional students as well, you're not going to ignore them. Take them. I'll take people in community colleges, take people who are homeschooled, and put them all together into a social network that is designed with game-like mechanics to keep you interested and engaged, earning rewards, meeting levels, but these are math rewards and biology levels and chemistry medals. Get them interested in that and connect everybody so that the entire world becomes your, your study group. You're in one giant university. Just like you are on Facebook, just like you are on LinkedIn, just like you are on YouTube, let's bring that to education. So when you reach, reach this point, then you start to think, well, is this worth doing? Because ultimately, we want to have, we go back to what I said about innovation, the idea has to be turned back into money. But otherwise, it's not sustainable. Because, you know, grant funding runs out, students graduate, end of the day, this has to be a self-sustaining idea. So if you look at the size of this opportunity, right, we have these currently about 30 to 40 million online users, growing to 300 million according to the estimates I mentioned earlier. No, I think this is not actually working. So I may just put it down. <laughs> and well, we have enough engineers in the room. Now this is where I can walk. Um, right. What's missing from the video lecture experience is the community you get when you're actually at Georgia Tech or IIT or MIT or anywhere else. You get study help, you get friends, you get study groups, you get tutoring, you get TAs, you get all of that kind of interaction. The online learning market is estimated at, at a little under $30 billion. It's a very, very large market. And this is US, uh, I'm sorry, $20 billion. This is US, the, the global estimates are harder to get by. Because people count different things differently, but it's estimated about 34 to 35 billion. The fastest growing segment of online learning is higher education. It's got a 39% CAGR, compounded annual growth rate. So very, very big market. There's clearly a very large monetary opportunity for any budding entrepreneurs who are interested in this. Uh, so it's a nice problem to tackle because it is a national priority, it's a huge social need, and there's money in it. So what we've done is we've built this thing called Open Study, and if you actually do go to the site, it'll look different. We just released a new version, and I don't have the latest screenshots with me. Um, but it's, it's, as I mentioned, it's this social network, Facebook-style social network, but the point of the network is not to trade pictures and jokes with each other. The point of the network is to study. And here, uh, here are some of the uh, the press. What the press is saying: social platform to help each other study. Um, you're no longer alone. You have the world's biggest classroom to turn to. Remember those people, 40,000 people looking at those MIT lectures by themselves. Now you can access those 39,000 other people if you want to. They're all out there on your social network. It's a global study group. Uh, you always find someone online in the study groups, and if you go online, you'll see that. At any, any given time now, we started a math group about three or four weeks ago. At any given time, there are 50 or 100 students there. And they're actually racing with each other to help you because they get rewards when they, they offer help. They're also learning by helping each other and teaching each other. Our Fast Company just named us one of the 10 most innovative companies in education. And that's interesting. They didn't say one of the 10 most innovative startups in education, including all companies. And we're a tiny little four-person company. So that's kind of nice to be in, in, that, in, that, in that list. Let me show you a quick demo. Um, and I hope the, the volume, you know, maybe I'm going to turn the, see what I did to this. It's working. So you can hear it. I, this is just a quick little thing. Open study is a, a match.com for studying. It's a worldwide social network that enables students to connect, study together, and help them to now, you said you've been thinking about this for a while. In the past couple of years, what were you trying to work out? Make sure there was a market for it, or is there some complicated technology you had to work out? It's actually both. We wanted to get the value proposition right. We spent a lot of time researching for the industry and that was something that was done. What did you determine? What did you find the students out there? The students all over the world are getting the textbooks here at night for exams. Maybe they're working on the new problems watching video lectures on iTunes, you're all on my team. When the students need help, who can they turn to? 
but it, the core need was to be able to find someone who could help them, give them help right there, right there, no matter what time. All right, this is against both the link students, but it's <coughs> essentially a study group. It's, it's, it's a worldwide right study group, but our mantra is we want to make the entire world your study group. So there's always something. It looks like a social network page almost. It does. So let's say that you are a student and you're one of 10,000 students studying computer science on MIT's website. You're working on video lectures or problem sets and you have a question. What do you do? You join a study group. You do that, you get dropped into MIT Open Study Group, as you can see, we have over 2,200 people out there. Think of them as your classmates who can help you anytime you want. Uh, I noticed that we just had someone join us from, from Kenya. Oh, wow. Well, we actually have students from 138 countries around the world. That's 71% that's of the world's students. Now, does this cost the kids anything to sign up for? No, it's completely free. So you can pretty much as well join kids up all hours of the night. No matter somewhere in the world, somebody's going to be up, somebody's going to be logged on, somebody's going to be studying. Someone will always help you. And so if you have a, if you can go in and help somebody, but if you have a question that you wanted to study with other someone, to click on ask a question, type some uh, question in that you want to help with, and say ask now. The question is posted, everything updates in real time, and go back to the site, and then someone will start answering. Well, we'll start answering. Oh. All right, you, are you ready for growth? Because this might catch on. Are you ready for, for what might We're ready for growth. We have okay. had uh, remarkable growth already. We've only been like two weeks. We have over 6,000 people in the business. All right, this is going to be the next Facebook 500 bill. We'll come back and you get 500 billion numbers on there, all right? Thank you. All right, actually, Paul from Georgia. Thank you so much for the concept. Thank you. Ashwin, is this on YouTube? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Yeah, okay. This is on CNN's site. They won't let us put it on YouTube because they want you to watch it on their site okay. so they can show you an ad for 30 seconds before the video starts. <laughs> <laughs> the volume was not good, so if you send us the URL. Right. Yeah, I'll, I, can, I can send that. Uh, and again, this, the site is live. It's free. You can go to openstudy.com and try it yourself. It actually looks a bit different now from, from this site uh, as well. So, um, so is, the, is the idea working? Right. So this was two weeks after launch. Uh, we launched in September. Uh, we have uh, actually almost 50,000 users now. Uh, in that one MIT group, which were about 2,000 in the demo, we have uh, about 16,000 users in the, uh, studying computer science at MIT now. Um, we just were selected for an uh, award from the Gates Foundation and Hewlett Foundation. Uh, so that's some of the funding for the company. Um, uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, We've been adopted by uh, pretty much every major university, uh, MIT, Yale, NYU, uh, Delft University, Korea University, you name it. Uh, in fact, MIT just released its 10-year strategic plan for open courseware, uh, which is their goal is to reach a billion minds, uh, which is very ambitious, trust MIT to be ambitious. And there are three core strategies to do that, and open study is one of them. Uh, so they think that this thing uh, will grow. One of the things that really interests me uh, in sort of watching how people are using this site is the level of engagement. Average users, and these are, you know, some of these are high school kids studying math, will spend 16, 17, 18 minutes per visit on the site, which is huge, other than Facebook, which is, you know, always on. But spending 17 or so minutes on a site for anything is a lot of time. And they're spending all of that time studying. Uh, and they make comments like, this thing is addictive. Right? They're, they make comments like, uh, uh, you know, so this is to me really remarkable that we have managed to engage these kids in something that they wouldn't be caught dead doing otherwise, like studying math or, or whatever it is. Um, so it's, it seems to be going going well. Um, so looking a little more broadly than open study, the you know folks are interested in this problem. The disruption in education is just starting. The current business model of a of the university system is broken. If you look at the books of any university, this is not sustainable. The people expecting radical changes over, um, well, let alone 20 to, to 30 years, even in the next three to five years. Uh, and the, the disruption is coming from many areas. Uh, you know, we are focused on engagement and social networking, but there are also people working on new ways to do test prep, which as you know is a very large market, everything from JE to SAT and so forth. Um, New models for open universities. If all these courses are online and free, why can't we make a university around them? Right? And there are people like University of the People and so forth that are trying to build universities where you can actually go and enroll in it and get admitted and 
be taught by these these famous professors. Uh, lots of work, new new kinds of learn, excuse me, learning management systems. Um, mobile is very big right now because a lot of kids are on mobile platforms. They they use the they use their cell phones more than they use computers to access the internet. For this demographic, the number one computing device is their.